Yo, what is going on? David's Camera Guy, JMobs Inc. Back again with another tutorial video. Today, we're going to be talking about adding movement to your videos without any external plugins or gimbals or any stabilizers. We're going to be talking about keyframing. Now, before we get started, remember, guys, if you like this content, if you want to see more of this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button below or dislike if you didn't like this video. Leave a comment below so you might be featured in my next video. All this goes towards making us grow faster. All right, so what we're gonna do is head over to the computer and we're gonna fire up Final Cut Pro. When you get into Final Cut Pro, you can see I already have a clip uh, already here laid out and ready to go. So what we're gonna be working with is one of the clips from an unreleased music video. I can't get into the details, but for this thing to work properly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a shot that's on the tripod or with little to no movement at all. So with this shot, I actually used a gimbal, which is kind of cheating, but it's still gonna work out in this situation. I used the gimbal and you can see that's really slow movement. That's because I think this is in slow motion. Yes, it is. Shot this in 120 frames per second. What we're gonna do is kind of add a little more movement to the shot. So it's kind of slow, you know, I wanted to punch in a little faster than that. And we're gonna add a little bit more movement to this actual shot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the front of the clip, right here, the very front of the clip, go to the front of the clip. And then you're gonna wanna hit this little arrow button in the corner here next to scale. That is your keyframe. You just made your first keyframe. Always know that that is your first keyframe. Now what we're gonna do is go all the way to the end of the clip. And you're gonna highlight the end of the clip and press the back button, the left keyboard button to go back one frame in your clip. Now you go back to the scale button and you can see you have some new arrows here. So you're gonna wanna scale this in up until you want it to right about there, right about there. And then you're gonna hit this arrow button and when we hit playback, there's way more movement than what we actually had the first time. It's crazy, it's hella simple, and I always seen this done in music videos countlessly. I, I do this personally in a lot of my projects, and this is one easy way to add some movement if you have it on a tripod shot and you wanna add a little extra flair to your shot. That's the easiest way to get it done. Now, if we want to pan this shot, can we set that, start back at the front again, you scale, give it a bit of scaling, scale in, and then change your X axis to either go left or right. In this case, let's go to right about there, and then you're going to keyframe that on your X and Y, and then you're going to keyframe on your scale. Then you're gonna go to the same thing at the end of the clip. Go back one frame. And you're just gonna pull this X axis down until we get it all the way to where we want it to go. And you're going to hit arrow back button and then you got another shot, which gives you a smooth pan. This is good for B-roll shots if you wanna get, um, a lot of b-roll shots especially if you're filming yourself this is great for shots like that and you can do basically whatever you need to do just with keyframes now this is like this is something you can do to add an effect it's always good to add your own motion if you have the tools such as gimbal or if you have a steady cam or a dolly you know it's always great to get these um effects in camera versus post. That's why you have to do less editing. But if you're only working with a tripod, you don't have to get a gimbal. You don't have to go and go and buy a $500 gimbal or a $400 gimbal. You use a tripod and then you can set up your shots to where you get nice, smooth movement. And yeah, that was just gonna be a quick tutorial for you guys today. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below so you can be featured in the next video. Quick plug before we go. If you haven't, make sure to check out my website at www.jmazinc.com where you can see all of my latest work. You can go to my store and go and see some of my products. I use all these LUTs in this video are from my personal store. It's the Davis Camera Guy LUT, that's Mood Pack 1.0 and that's Mood Pack 2.0. So definitely go and check out the store you're not gonna be unsatisfied 
I'm Davidson Comic Guy. I'll see you guys in the next one.